Hey guys, welcome back to Nerder Things. We just got back from Captain Marvel. And uh, when I say Captain Marvel, this is the original Captain Marvel, right? There has been seven or eight of them in Marvel and DC, but this is the original Captain Marvel that was originally Fawcett Comics back in uh, 1943. So... What did you guys think? I think it was uh, louder. I think it was a uh, four out of five. Why? Why? Say that? Because there was too much dialogue. <laughs> there was too much dialogue. You can't have a movie with all just action. Nobody wants to see that. Oh yeah. Opal. So. I like how DC made a comeback, and they're kind of like Marvel now, because the superheroes are making jokes, and then... Wait. Superheroes are making jokes? Yeah. <laughs> For DC? Yeah. I think the guys in DC, they might have it written in the contracts that you cannot, no matter what, you can't joke, and you dang sure can't smile. No smiling. Right? But why does um, Superman only smile? Superman does not smile. The newest version, the old version did. Mm -hmm. Right, I mean, I remember reading 15 years ago about a supposed leak memo where they said that since Batman was doing, was outselling everybody, that they were going to make Every DC superhero, grim and dark. I am vengeance. I am the knight. I am Batman. Actually, they call it grim dark. Or, or if you make a superhero dark, you you say they were grim dark. Or you you would say when you're making them dark, and then someone say, "Hey, what'd you do this weekend?" Oh, I was at work, and I was grim darking Booster Gold. <laughs> grim darking. Gold. I grim, I'm grim darking Booster Gold. You make it more real dark. All right, I'm waiting for the Booster Gold movie where he's like, I'm Booster Gold. <laughs> Let's take a selfie. I want you to tell all your friends about me. That doesn't even sound right. <laughs> right, but that's, a, that's the edict. DC has made, they've made a lot of mistakes over the years, right? How many different types of Marvel movies have we, we've had with different characters? Right? But... For, for like 40 years now, we've only had Batman and Superman. And they didn't think anybody else would work. When actually, Batman and Superman have failed in this. After post Christopher Nolan, they pretty much failed. They haven't made any money. Man of Steel didn't make very much. Batman vs. Superman made like $5 profit. Justice League, $5 profit. So, yeah. That's a good point. Like they joked, they made jokes. It was like nonstop jokes, and that's that's fine, right? Not everything needs to be grim. Not every character needs to be grim dark in the DC universe. If you really even look at like for Superman, when they went from the newest incarnation of Superman, they even made his the colors on his uniform dark, right? Even Superman, they made his his from light blue to dark blue. He went from dark bright red to dark red. Superman no longer smiles and smiles at people and saves cats out of a tree. Now he's some edgy loner that never smiles. <laughs> it don't make any sense. Anyway, what did you think? The movie was awesome. There were so many good parts for the kids to watch and they even did the dances where we love to watch the kids do at home. They call it the floss. AM to the PM, PM to the AM. And oh, they floss, so that was good. That was good because it involved the whole generation of this time and age. But the movie was awesome. It's probably one of the better movies because I laughed during the whole time. There were some sad moments, and there were some um, moments where it involved everybody with bullying. Just everything was 
um, all inclusive. You know, so I've said it for years that the two movies they needed to do, number one was Wonder Woman. Like they they held off DC held off for decades and decades thinking a Wonder Woman would never do any good. Then it comes out and it sold like a billion dollars. Huh. Right? And then well no, Wonder Woman wasn't just about girl power though. Power. It wasn't just about that. It didn't exclude, exclude anybody. Ask me if Captain Marvel excluded somebody. But, I mean, she said she didn't want any, any white men to watch it. But it wasn't about that. Like, like Black Panther wasn't exclusive, even though they don't let white people into Wakanda. And white people can't see Wakanda. But anyway, I digress. And the movies, are, the movies have gotten more inclusive, but there hasn't really been a superhero that's been aimed at kids. Now, for me, I'm old, right? I'm 48 years old. I, so I can remember reading the comic book, and I can remember watching the old cartoon and Captain Marvel family. So it was nice for them to, spoiler alert, I mean, this is going to be full of spoilers, but how they, I love how they brought in the, the Marvel family at the end. Looks like it's time for the Marvels. Shazam! Captain Marvel! Although they still need the tiger and they need Uncle Marvel there. And I think they had a monkey at one point. Didn't they? I think they had a monkey. But I, I like how they brought in the aspect of the old and the new because the Captain Marvel family was cheesy. Like, I don't I purposely don't read any spoilers before I go into a movie. Right? I purposely don't pay attention to any spoilers. So when they had the Captain Marvel movie, I was I was like geeked. And then once they started doing Captain Marvel movie and I started thinking they were going to do it, so I hope this isn't cheesy. But then they brought in the new villains. So they had like the old, the older 1940 villains. They had Mr. Mind and Dr. Savannah. Mr. Mind is the worm. And then Dr. Savannah. But then they also brought in the new villains where they're fighting demons. So somewhere along the lines, somewhere along the lines, I think back probably, I don't know, 15, 20 years ago, they started. They stopped making Captain Marvel just pointed towards kids, but they made him be like Doctor Strange, where he's fighting different extra extra dimensional demons, extra dimensional demons that are trying to come come over, kind of like Doctor Strange would fight Dormammu or Mephisto or you know beings of that nature. That's that's what uh, the Marvel family is in the comic books: is they're fighting mystical threats that only they can fight. Kind of like how Justice League can't fight mystical. Enemies, so they have Justice League Dark to f to fend off the mystical elements. Kind of like in the one movie where they had Justice League Dark, and the Justice League was trying to fight the monsters, and they they had powers that had no effect on them. They needed to have beings with magical abilities. So I really liked it. I, I, it was really weird for me to see. Uh, you know, I don't think I've ever seen a superhero movie number one with this many jokes. I mean, it had, probably had more jokes in it than Deadpool, but they were all clean, but they still got away with it. Like, adults found it funny. What were you going to say? Is it next to the box made of, of Batman, Santana, and Constantine? Batman was only, no, he was only visiting in that one. No, that one had Swamp, Swamp Thing, Dr. Fate, Constantine, Zatanna, and uh, the demon Etrigan. The demon Etrigan. So anyway, yeah, they, he fights mystical threats just like they do. So I, I really like that. I like how they took that aspect. But I've also never seen a superhero movie, a superhero origin movie, where they're discovering their powers while they're fighting the villain. Like they're getting a butt whoop and getting thrown through a building. And they're like, oh, I can do this, I can do that. Or in the one scene where he... I don't even know who he was. I was expecting Black Adam. Dr. Savannah picks him up. He can't fly and he drops him to the earth and he stops himself and learns how to fly right before he gets squashed on the uh, squashed on the ground. So I, I don't even know why Billy Batson, if he could turn it, like what kids always want to grow up. When I was a kid, I couldn't wait to grow up and get big muscles. That's why I'm always in the weight room. I, want, I couldn't wait to grow up 
and get big muscles. So why would he want to turn back? Why would you want to turn back to a kid when you have, what was it? The wisdom of Solomon, the strength of Hercules, the stamina of Atlas, the power of Zeus, the bravery of Achilles, the speed of Mercury. I got them all. Yeah, you got them all that time. Well, on the movie, he turned back to the kid to get away from the villains when he was too big to, um, I guess the villains were holding on to him too tight or too easily. When he turned back to Shazam, the little kid, Billy, he got away real quick and went on to the next thing. And no one noticed him going like it doesn't make any sense and no one sees the big lightning whenever she he says Shazam. Actually if the lightning goes down everybody's gonna be blinded. That's a great cover. Because by the time think about it, think how bright lightning is. If lightning goes off in your face, you're gonna be like this for a minute and you won't be able to see what's going on. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like how I don't know, he's supposed to be like the the most noble one or whatever, but he's sitting there doing tricks in the park for cash. Mm -hmm. Reminds me of Booster Cold. Something he would do. It reminded me of Hancock. Who was that? Oh, they haven't seen Hancock, so we gotta let them watch that one. You have to be loud. Hancock. With Will Smith in it? When he flies around drinking whiskey and saving people? Who? And he like flies crooked and throws up all over the place? Okay. <laughs> That's awkward. <laughs> hey guys! You ever seen that really old movie? Uh, Empire Strikes Back? It must be before your time. We'll have to play that one for you. So what I what am I missing? I, I don't know. I, if you want to look at how DC is doing, I feel as though they've gotten away from that directive to grimdark everybody. And they've stopped kind of chasing Marvel. And they've actually shown that DC can make a funny movie. I can't remember the last time I've laughed this much in a movie. I don't think I laughed this much at Deadpool. But anyway, they've shown that they can do other things. They said they were going to stop chasing after Marvel and stop trying to do Avengers and like, hey, who doesn't want to make $2 billion a movie? But everybody forgets how much, how many movies that Marvel laid down and, and the path they took, right? They set, they set little Easter eggs and they put a path and it took a long time to get there. DC, they thought they were going to just jump up from Man of Steel to Batman versus Superman and just go straight to the Justice League without showing any of the other characters. But if you look at it, like DC, then I, for, I can't remember the name of the guy, but the new guy that's in charge of DC, the DC movies, has said they're going to stop chasing Marvel and they're just going to make good individual movies. And if, if anything, you can see, like, I'm sorry, I never thought Aquaman would work as a movie, and it worked. Right? Captain Marvel can be a little bit tricky to do as a movie, and it really worked. Shazam. And then you, then you have Wonder Woman also that worked. So we'll see what they're doing. I know Ben Affleck saying that Ben Affleck dropped out because he wants to have a better Batman movie and he's kind of not wanting to do Batman. And he's made them keep rewriting script after script. Right? He's made them keep writing script after script. Don't get mixed up with Captain Marvel and Shazam. Oh. <laughs> He's made them keep writing script after script, right? And then he said it's not good enough because it's not really good for his career, right? He's won an Academy Award. He's making $20 million a movie. He can't have his name. He really can't have his name attached to failure. But they're saying, and you know, they also said that Justice League 2 was off because it didn't make any money. But now they're saying that since Aquaman has done so well and now Captain Mar Marvel is putting more fuel to the fire. Maybe with all that, th then uh, they'll start to see that uh, they can actually do Justice League 2. I, I believe there's rumors going around that they're seriously considering Justice, Justice League 2. And supposedly Ben Affleck is considering coming back to the role of Batman now after the success they've had. So, hey, 
you know, Marvel is dropping off for a while. Like, they're going to stop making movies, right? It's been a while since we've had a new Marvel movie, right? They were cranking out movies pretty fast. And after Infinity War, I believe they're taking off a year. So DC is stepping in. So we'll see. I mean, there's no reason why DC can't uh, make good movies, right? If you look at the comic books, DC has outsold Marvel for a lot of years. Right? Why would the characters be any more appealing? You guys can argue that in the comments section below. And I'm sure you could say because, oh, well, the, I'm sure one argument would be that Marvel characters are flawed. Like, they're not Superman. They're all flawed and they'll have their issues. Like, Spider-Man is a teenager who runs out of web fluid and, and he almost falls to his death from running out of web fluid. Or Iron Man is his kryptonite is whiskey. Or Ant-Man likes to punch his wife in the face. You can keep going on and on and on. And yet, for DC, you can say they're more idealized. But if you look at what, after, a, I know probably most of you don't read comic books, but after Crisis on Infinite Earths, where they rebooted the characters, after they blew up the universe, they reformed it, and they gave all the characters. They, they took the power level down. They made them weak. They made them more human. They, they gave them flaws. Look what John Byrne did to Superman. Right? Pre-Crisis Infinite Pre-crisis on Infinite Earth, Superman was God. Superman could do anything. Superman was like the pre on pre-crisis Infinite Earth. Superman was like the Infinity Gauntlet times a hundred. He could sneeze and blow up a galaxy. I'm not kidding. You can type that in. Super, type in. Go to Google and type in Superman destroying the galaxy with the sneeze. Right. I mean, how how do you even sneeze? Air doesn't transmit through space. So how does it even happen? They showed it. He's like sneezing and all the planets on the galaxy are moving. All nine planets. And the sun. He's like, oh, if I don't hold down my super sneeze, I'll destroy everything. So you could argue that the Marvel characters are more flawed, but the DC characters have flaws. Right? Batman, he's crazy. Green Lantern, he's weak to yellow. The Flash, well, actually, the Flash can do anything, unfortunately. But, yeah, they can make it work. I hope they make it work. I hope, you know, I've waited, I've been watching, you know, I, I can remember the live action sh uh, Captain Marvel show 43 years ago. It's taken them this long to go. So, hey, I hope they can get things rolling before I die. What? <laughs> Green Lantern, if his skin is not green. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> he's not the Hulk. He's Green Lantern. All right, so if I were to rate this out of 100, I would put this at a 90. I am right. Well, the action could have, I don't know. I was expecting for somebody to be as powerful as Captain Marvel, I was expecting stuff to be blowing up. Like a Man of Steel when when yeah. Zod and Captain blew up all of New York City fighting. All right, Captain Marvel is more powerful than Superman. In Elseworld, I think it was in Elseworlds and in, in the alternate, it was in Elseworlds, which is an alternate reality comic book, where it's set in the future where Mister Mind, who's that worm, who's really it's a worm, but he's really an alien. He can control you. He actually gets inside Captain Marvel's brain or Shazam's brain. The name to me will always be Captain Marvel, not Shazam. He gets inside his brain, controls him, and Superman's no longer allowed to be a superhero anymore and has to retire because Captain Marvel says he'll kill him. And Superman backs off because he knows he can't win. Every time they fight, Captain Marvel loses. Sorry, every time they fight, Superman wins. Captain Marvel loses because he's magic-based and Superman has no defense against magic. So, yeah. I, I would say a 90 out of 100, but I was expecting to have buildings blowing up and stuff like that. Also, I, you know, I thought that it was going to be, or, uh, I believe a few years back they were saying it was going to be, John Cena was going to be Captain Marvel, and then they were going to have Black Adam played by The Rock. Yeah, speaking of that... Um... John Cena sucks. No! Speaking of that, 
Um, The Rock was one of the executive producers for Captain, I mean, Shazam. I'll have to look that up. But anyway, yeah. Do you guys have anything else? I think people are going to quote you because you said John Cena sucks in the comments. John Cena sucks. Let's go Cena. Cena sucks. Let's go Cena. Cena sucks. And who do you think I'm going to root for? You've got The Rock versus John Cena. I'm going to root for Black Adam. Sorry. Oh, I also liked how the one, how uh, Dr. Savannah's father was Lionel Luthor. Lionel Luthor. Lex Luthor, Luthor, yeah. The guy that played uh, Dr. Savannah's father was Lex Luthor's father in Smallville. Why all the Luthors, they all have names like Liana Luthor and Lionel Luthor. They all have names. Lex Luthor. They're all, <laughs> they're all L's. Lily, what's the one on small, on Supergirl? Is it Lily Luthor or something like that? Oh, it's, uh... It's Liliana Luthor or something mess like Lina, that. Lena. Lena Luthor? Yeah. Right. Lena Why do all the superheroes and supervillain names, like a lot of them, have, they start with the same consonant, Billy right? Fox, right? Yeah. Bi- yeah. Right, Billy Batson. Peter Parker, Otto Octavius. I would think you'd figure that out, that he's going to be Dr. Octopus. How convenient is it that Dr. Octopus, his name is Otto Octavius. You should have known that. You should have known it. Who else? Mag- Magneto? Is Ma- what is it? Magnus, whatever. Magnetic? Hmm. Kind of the same consonant. Clark Kent. Lois Lane. Right, Lois Lane. Who else? J- oh, the trifecta. J. Jonah Jameson. <laughs> oh, nice. You got J. Jonah Jameson. Who else? Well, why don't you guys put it in the comment section? But I'm pretty sure when somebody typed it up, they came up with like 50 names. 50 to 60 names where they all have the same consonant. <laughs> We gotta think of one more before we go. Lex Luthor. You already said Lex Luthor. That's how not, we got started. Not in this list, did I? Well, I'm yeah. saying it again. Lex Luthor. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. And also, why is it to be a superhero your parents have to die? Right? Which superhero's parents? Which superhero has both parents still alive? Billy Back. Well, but His they're not with him. In jail and her mom was right. Um, they're dead to him. Who, which superhero t- has both parents still alive? He, uh, not Peter Parker. Actually, Peter Parker's parents fake their deaths, and they're really Russian spies. They've been in Russia spying the whole time. So they said. Right. right? The only one that has it is uh, both of his parents still alive is kick ass, and he does it, he said, because he's bored. <laughs> right? And the bad guy, it's a, hey, I can say kick ass, it's a movie. Can I say it? You remember the one girl that played in kick ass? When they would ask her about the movie, she's like, I'm not, my mommy, my mommy won't allow me to say kick ass. Hit girl. Can I say that? No. <laughs> we, you were, we, we were allowed to see that movie. Alright, so yeah. Movie was good. Go see it. DC, let's see some more. Alright, so we will talk to you later. Please make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and hit the notification bell. And we'll talk to you later. Bye. Shazam! Shazam! Shazam. Shazam. I've, been, Shazam. I've been saying that for the last 40 years. It's not worth Shazam! I can remember one summer I, I said, I'm going to keep saying Shazam until I get Captain Marvel powers. And it didn't happen. Shazam. I said it over and over again. I said, if only I, if only I believe, if only I have faith like a mustard seed, can I say Shazam and turn, I believe it, I'm going to turn into Captain Marvel. I'm going to turn into Captain Marvel. It has to happen. Just like they said in the movies, if I believe I can fly, I can do it. Bye.
Bye. Bye.